Hi, my name's Kathy Miller and this week I'm going to show you a different technique for putting snow to give it a more humpy grass texture. So last time we just used snow paste to make the snow and it's really easy but sometimes you want a slightly different texture and this is a lovely smooth grass covered loads of snow texture and I do like it but it's nice every now and then to have a little bit of variety in your textures. So for this section, I'm gonna show you what it's like to put a powder, such as micro balloons, over grass and show you the difference that that makes. I've done a whole video on how to do static grass, so I won't repeat that here, but I have a link to it in the cards above. So for now, I'm just starting off with Pico Basing Glue, which is it's very simple to use. The difference between a static grass glue, and there are loads of them out there, and a normal PVA is apparently they stay tacky for longer, so the grass will stick, whereas PVAs skin then dry. Um, if you only have a PVA, I have done it very successfully with PVA glue in the past too. The next stage is adding the grass itself. Now I'm just using a static grass applicator and four mil summer grass. The grass itself is largely irrelevant because it's all gonna be covered by snow. And all you need to do here is get a nice thick coat. I let this dry up overnight, but I was thinking about it and I'm gonna put some of the terrain snow, the AK Interactive snow along the edge, just so it ties in with these other bits I've got, otherwise it might look inconsistent and it just look odd because it's the same snow that's fallen here as here. I'm just using a slightly different technique. You can check out more on how I use this in last time's video, but I do like this AK Interactive Terrain Snow for adding fluffy snow. And I think with a layer of deluxe materials or AK Interactive micro balloons over the top, nothing can really beat it for snow. Having done some experiments, I've found that hairspray is one of the best for building up soft multiple layers. Um, if you want to put footprints in it, it's also good for doing the footprints because it stays sticky for longer. If you put on something that's set straight away, then um, when you come to put the footprints in, you don't get much because it's already set solid. So just to make sure I don't put too much glue and hence snow on bits I don't need, I'm going to put some um, kitchen roll on here and just a little bit of something to hold it down. So I'm just going to spray. Hairspray. Now my favourite product for putting on is actually micro balloons, but I thought I'd do something a little different here just to show you that there's more than one product. And this is Knock Powdered Snow. It's very similar, it's a light powdery substance and it builds up really nicely into thick depths of snow. It goes on more smoothly if you use a sieve and actually this powdered snow has a little element of um, sort of larger bits in it every now and then which I find it, the sieve just holds back and stops coming out into your snow. So there we go, one coat done. Now it's spray with hairspray, powder on more snow. So you've guessed it, it's spray, sprinkle, spray, sprinkle until you feel like you're happy. Now you can see, and I'm going to add a few more layers, that at this point you get a very different effect if you just put on snow paste. You get a much more lumpy effect, which is perfect. It's like the snow underneath has done it. And I really like this stage. What I'm probably going to do is um, put a little bit more at this end and then just let that end be a little lumpier just to let the effect come through. I need my man back to just add some more footprints in here and you can see it's very easy to do um, here as well as in the other one. So you can just put him down. I mean, obviously where the grass is, he's, um, he's just bouncing back up. But. So this is dried. It's got a lovely texture to it. It's quite a frosty texture. The downside is this transition between my two layers where I'm showing the two different techniques looks a bit meh. Partly because this is quite yellowy, um, it's got the grass colour underneath coming through slightly and that hairspray hasn't dried completely clear, which isn't unusual for hairspray. So what I'm going to do is use clear lacquer, it's any gloss varnish or matte varnish or any varnish really that you know is going to dry clear. Now if I was just doing just this one section on its own and it wasn't tied into here, I wouldn't be bothered, but I need it to tie. So that's why I'm doing this. A couple of quick points on spraying a clear lacquer like this. 
Do wear a face mask and probably actually gloves would have been better. Um, this stuff is lethal. I have a wide door to the outside that I open up when I sprayed it on video like this and I run out the room for half an hour to let it all die down because this stuff really does smell and it's not good for you. You still need the face mask on when you're doing micro balloons. Now, if anyone has tried them, they will know these go straight up your nose and you'll be coughing and spluttering for a few hours afterwards. It is not good. They're very fine particles. So please do take care of your health and put the face mask on. I also quickly redid the footprints again as I just filled them in. So here's some final photos of this particular diorama and I've got my lock gates in place now. Um, they're 3D printed on my Anycubic Photon and you can get the files on my website or on Thingiverse. I also wanted to show you another diorama that I did, Snow and Ice, for MRVP, Model Railroad Video Plus. And this is the grass with snow on top that I did for them. And it's HO scale, but you can see I didn't put as much snow on top. So instead of getting quite a thick covering, which my Lapworth diorama has, this has a more light covering. And I really like the effect. So thank you ever so much for everybody who supports me on Patreon. If you want to support me, consider popping over there. It's patreon.com, Kathy Millett. If you're enjoying the videos, you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, see you next time for more on the Snow and Ice Diorama.